Okay, so here are the things you're gonna need to um, insert eyelets into vinyl or leather. Um, I'm showing you with vinyl because I do not have leather on me right now. So you are gonna need a leather hole punch cutter thing. <laughs> Um, my brand is Art Minds, just one of those random brands that you find at Michaels. Uh, mine came with uh, different size hole punches. Um, make sure the eyelets you get correspond to the hole size. You do not want the hole bigger than the actual eyelet or else your eyelet's gonna fall out. Um, so a really nice uh, snug fit would um, ensure that your eyelets won't fall out. So um, the eyelets you could, I believe you could get them anywhere like Michael's and uh, Joann's. I actually got these at Tandy Leather Shops. They might have some where you live, I'm not sure. But there was the one by me. You could also order these from their website. Um, and make sure to get a corresponding anvil and setter. Um, the, with the correct measurements, these, these are a quarter of an inch. These are a quarter of an inch, so the setter has to be the exact same measurement and you could use a uh, wood or metal hammer um, the preferred method is a wood or rubber mallet um, but since I do not have one I'm just gonna cover um, cover it with some scrap vinyl just rubber band it to the tip so it doesn't mess up my um, equipment right here and also it'll distribute the I guess the pressure evenly to the eyelid so let me show you it's done okay so here's your piece of vinyl it is mine is rather thin so it shouldn't be too hard to um, stab a hole into it and here's my hammer let me see you um, is as I told you guys earlier since I do not have a rubber mallet or a wooden one I just covered my metal hammer with some scrap piece of vinyl and just rubber banded on here so it would distribute the hit evenly so let me show you how to make a hole so I attached the corresponding diameter of the hole with uh, that my eyelet has which is a quarter of an inch so you can see it so, there it goes. So make sure you do not do this on a table. I am the floor of my garage right now. So it doesn't really matter what happens to the floor. So, I'm gonna go all the way through, but um, there we go. Let's see. So you could do, I believe, probably like maybe three layers of this uh, thickness of vinyl before it won't go through anymore. Uh, I'm just doing one layer to show you. For now, I'm gonna go to two layers later. So I'll put the eyelid in here. And then with your anvil, oops, you set your anvil down, sorry. Mm -hmm. And just place it in here, it should fit perfectly. Okay. And then just the set her. So, um, she has like a little dip. Just place it in there, hold it in place. You don't have to um, hit it that hard. So I think that's good. Let's see. So, um, it moves around a little bit because the um, vinyl is kind of thin. It works better with two layers. But so yes, yeah, so, um, for this is pretty simple. So now I'm going to show you uh, two layers. Okay, so with this one we are doing two layers of vinyl. I already showed you guys how to do one layer and um, it works good but I like doing two layers because um, it'll keep the eyelet in there um, a little bit more secure 
As you can see, I use clips. I usually use uh, um, sewing clips when I work with vinyl. Uh, you can also use clothes hangers, but these stay on here more. You can go find these at any sewing shops or craft stores. I really like them. They're cute too. Um, okay, so here's my hole maker. So I'm going to make a hole again. You can see I kind of moved it around just to make sure I get all the edges. So I made a nice hole and I think I messed up my crown on my floor but it doesn't matter. And uh, if you get a, a hole puncher or cutter, make sure there's like a little slot here so you could punch out the extra material you have in here or else it will get stuck. So here's my hole. Nice and clean. So now you want to put in the eyelet. Put over your anvil behind it. Make sure it fits nicely. Then set her. Put it in there. If it's the right size, it should fit in there perfectly. And just, uh, let's see, Oops. and just hammer away until you think it's nice and secure. And yep, really nice, really Nice fading eyelet. Nice and clean. And unlike the one leather, the one leather, the one layer, it kind of moves around, and this one is nice and tight. So I would suggest two layers um, of vinyl or whatever uh, material you use. You obviously, it depends on thickness. Mine's pretty thin, so two layers work best. So, yep. So I really hope this was informative and I did not talk too much or mumble. So, good luck with your projects.